Bitcoin has broken out above the symmetrical triangle on the four hour chart and could be setting up for much higher prices. And from a long term perspective, Bitcoin seems to be setting up for one of the most bullish years in its history. Ethereum on the weekly chart is also looking quite good. Ethereum caught support recently with Bitcoin and is now pushing back for that $600 level. And looking at the Chainlink to Bitcoin pair, this is one of the most critical areas that Chainlink needs to hold. And MicroStrategy secures $635 million for another Bitcoin buy. All of this and more in today's video. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we got a lot to discuss. Bitcoin did see a really nice bounce back. We're up over four and a half percent right now in the past 24 hours and most of the top cryptocurrencies are following Bitcoin to the upside. Bitcoin is currently up in the past 24 hours. We're up in the past week. We're up in the past month and we're up in the past year. So market sentiment is very, very positive right now. Looking at Bitcoin on the four hour chart, we can see that we just confirmed a higher low, a significantly higher low. Bitcoin is breaking above the downward sloping resistance line of the symmetrical triangle on the four hour chart right now. It looks like the market is actually looking for a back test of resistance right now. And if we do pull back to resistance and find support this would be extremely bullish 18,940 is the next downside target if bitcoin is able to flip previous resistance as support if we can break above this previous high and create another higher high on the four hour chart i actually think that this is going to be ushering in the next all-time high break above the twenty thousand dollar level things are getting very bullish in this market very quickly and we still have a ton of demand from institutions Recently, MicroStrategy actually secured $635 million for another Bitcoin buy. This news is huge. As reported, MicroStrategy already acquired 40,824 Bitcoin. This means with the additional 650 million, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin holdings will be over $1 billion. A lot of people are asking the question, who is buying Bitcoin at these prices? How does the price continue to maintain these levels? And guys, it's institutions. It's people like Michael Saylor. It's companies like MicroStrategy that are buying tons of Bitcoin at the $19,000 level. And there is more where that came from. Another $650 million is gonna be entering the Bitcoin market. And it's not just MicroStrategy, it's also companies like Mass Mutual, another $100 million Bitcoin investment. And this is smart money, guys. Even though the institutions right now are buying at the all-time high, this is smart money. They understand the potential for Bitcoin. They understand the Bitcoin cycles and that Bitcoin is poised for 1,200% gains in the next year according to traditional Bitcoin cycles. Seeing 1,200% gains in the next year is actually not that crazy, guys. It's actually quite realistic. And there has never been a better time to buy Bitcoin than the year 2020. The money stock is absolutely exploding. We've never seen this much money being printed in such a short period of time. And the devaluation of the US dollar and the devaluation of fiat currencies worldwide is exactly why Bitcoin was created in the first place as a hedge against inflation. This is truly the perfect storm for Bitcoin. And for all of you Bitcoin investors out there, it is very important that you keep your eye on the long term chart. The short term does not matter. It is all about the long term. You're going to make the most gains in the long term. Historically, it's nearly impossible to outperform the gains that Bitcoin provides. So being a long term holder is actually the most profitable strategy. Now, past performance does not guarantee future results, but traditional Bitcoin cycles in the stock to flow model are pointing to an upside target of about a quarter million dollars for Bitcoin in the next year. In the next year, Bitcoin could be sitting at $250,000. And just like previous bear markets, Bitcoin could be looking for another 80, 85% to the downside from that price point, which could be putting us around 50,000 US dollars for that bear market low target. And this is actually quite realistic. This is actually exactly what Bitcoin has been doing in all of its previous cycles. So this is nothing out of the ordinary. And the real question is, have you positioned yourself for this next major Bitcoin bull market. This next bull market is when Bitcoin is gonna become a legitimate global asset. And we're already seeing institutions scrambling to get a hold of more Bitcoin. 
Smart Money knows what is coming, guys, and you better be prepared for this. Now, looking at Ethereum on the weekly chart, things are looking extremely good. Ethereum is actually maintaining this parabolic trajectory right now. We did see a lot of buy action recently as Bitcoin recovered, and we're now starting to come back towards that $600 level. If you take your FIB extensions and you go from the last major swing high to bear market low here on the weekly chart, you can see that the 382 was respected here in 2019, which was also the bear market low. And recently in August, we used the 50% FIB extension as resistance. And then we moved straight through the 618. The next major upside target for Ethereum is coming in around 669 US dollars at the 786 FIB extension. So that is a short to medium term target. And after that, we could be headed up towards that $800 area. It is really not out of the question to see Ethereum hitting you know, 670, potentially as high as $800 in the not so distant future. Things in this market can get much more bullish than you ever thought possible. Now, looking at Chainlink on the daily chart, it does seem like we have fallen below this short term upward sloping trend line. And a lot of people have been kind of frustrated with Chainlink because it's been going very sideways. I've seen this in the comments section of my videos a lot. People are kind of just wondering what's going on with Chainlink? Why aren't we mooning? Well, guys, we have to remember where we came from. Looking at the top 20 cryptos, we can see that Bitcoin is up 164% over the past one year. Ethereum is up 345% over the past one year. And going down the list, what you'll notice is that Chainlink is by far one of the top performers. It's up basically 600% over the past year and nothing even comes close. So I would just say you got to have a little bit of patience here and you got to wait for the rest of the market to start getting more bullish and then Chainlink will follow suit. Right now we need to reclaim the 21 day EMA and also we need to reclaim this price channel. And if we can do that, things would be looking pretty good for Chainlink. Looking at the Chainlink to Bitcoin pair on the three day chart, we are at a very critical spot here on this long term upward sloping trend line on the log scale chart. And historically, everything along this major upward sloping trend line has actually been the maximum opportunity area. It's been the best area of entry for Chainlink and we are at this zone right now. So accumulating Chainlink at these levels historically has been a great move and it's quite possible that we may start to rally off of this level. Since 2018, Chainlink has been outperforming Bitcoin to a very large extent and it was only recently since August that Chainlink has been losing a lot of momentum here. But from a long-term perspective, this is actually the area of maximum opportunity to be getting into Chainlink. And I think it's quite likely that the market is gonna be finding a lot of support within this this range as people see that this is actually the area of maximum opportunity for Chainlink and we may start outpacing Bitcoin once again moving forward. And even Chainlink to USD in my opinion has been performing really well despite the sideways action that we've seen recently. We're only 35% away from the all-time high after having seen you know five 600% gains in the past year. So overall I'm very happy with Chainlink and I think it's going to do great in the next major bull market. So I hope you guys are keeping your eye on the long term. That's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, guys, the platform that you see me use in my videos is the Crypto Watch platform. You can chart and trade directly off your charts. There's a tutorial popping up on the screen right now. Definitely check that out. It is free to sign up with Crypto Watch. Click that link below. And also, if you want to support this channel, get extra content and get access to my public crypto portfolio to see what other altcoins I'm accumulating, definitely join my Patreon. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.